November 6, 2017 John Denon November 6, 2017 John Denon Deontay Wilder, Bermain Stivern and 5 Key Questions After the Weekend's Action Deontay Wilder, Bermain Stivern and 5 Key Questions After the Weekend's Action Don't Miss Any Action. Sign up for the free BN newsletters here How bad was Bermain Stivern against Deontay Wilder for a former heavyweight world champion? Bermain Stivern was astonishingly poor. He came in too heavy and he could scarcely muster a punch in the fight itself. Who goes into a heavyweight world title fight and doesn't throw a punch? It was a recipe for a disaster. Which duly came, in just under three minutes. How powerful is Deontay Wilder? The American hits very hard indeed. For the first knockdown, the right hand that blasted Stivern off his feet was shockingly powerful. The finish though was not clean. As ever he went wild as he unleashed wide, clubbing shots. But even these were certainly heavy enough to put Stivern down and out. Is now the time to fight Anthony Joshua Wilder certainly did his part to drum up interest. He looked dangerous. His movement looked unconventional and awkward at times but Wilder still looks like a handful. And he said the right things afterwards, demanding an Anthony Joshua fight, even saying he would come to England for it. A heavyweight unification for the WBC, IBF and WBA world titles, that would be a big deal. What next for Derek Chisora? The London heavyweight keeps managing to lose fights he needs to win. If Derek Chisora had beaten Agat Kabyle and won the European title, that would have put him on course for another big fight. But he was outboxed and lost a decision. A rematch with Dillian White now appears to be off the cards and it's hard to see how Chisora could get himself in the mix for a world title fight. But Chisora reckons he has made many a comeback before and can do so again. Is Scott Quigg back on the radar despite his move to Los Angeles to train with Freddie Roach? It's been a low-key year for Scott Quigg. On the same bill as Derek Chisora in Monaco, Quigg halted Oleg Yefimovich. This fight will position him though for some sort of world title shot next year. Read more articles by John Denon.